What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Another great day. Well today we're going to be replacing the compressor on my 99 C5 Corvette. Uh, the compressor on this car actually never actually worked since I've owned it. I've owned this simple car about six months and you guys have been following the build. You know that I've used this car as an autocross car but now it's about to be summertime and I need some AC in this car because it's going to get hot in the summertime here in Houston. So uh, if you own a C5 or you ever own one you know that the compressor is in a terrible spot. It's down here on the passenger side down there on the bottom, which is not a big deal, but the header's right above it, the water pump's right above it, and then there's a steering rack right in front of it. So it's like in this little cage, and it's really a pain in the ass to get. Uh, so normally people would take the water pump off and the uh, steering rack to get to it, but I'm actually in the process of doing long tube headers on the car, and it looks like if I could remove the header, I might have enough room to sneak it out the back and down to the bottom. I might have to remove the starter, but uh, I'm going to try to sneak it out the bottom, so it, it might even be easier uh, to take the header off if you're actually doing the compressor. And if you can do it, uh, I'm not sure if you can, because it does have a stud that it rides on right here. I'm going to take the stud off the uh, the block, but not a big deal. Uh, but yeah, we'll see right now. Like I said, I'm doing a header as well. I'm doing some Flowtech long tube headers, and then some like eBay X-Pipe. Passenger side out. Now with the header out of the way, plenty of room to get this compressor out of there. Motor mount might be in our way, but it's not a big deal. We should be able to get it out of there. I think we better sneak it out the back way and then down that little tunnel there. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, remove the two top bolts. We got one here. One there, and then there's two more on the bottom. We should be able to access those basically through the wheel well here. Take the wheel off, and we'll take the bottom ones off first. All right, so I got the wheel of the passenger side wheel off, and I turned the wheel all the way to the driver's side so I can get some access back here. And actually, right in this little between the frame rail and the uh, lower subframe, you can see the bolts. They're right, right there. So there's one. And then the other one's right there. So we got plenty of room right here between the uh, wheel well to just stick a wrench or at least a socket. And I'm gonna use like a six inch extension here. And put it on the boat. Wow. Those are 15 millimeter bolts. Unbolt the um, all right, so the one towards the front is a little bit shorter than the one in the back. Note to self. Now we can unplug the compressor or, yeah, it's like right there. We can unplug the compressor. We can get to the top ones and undo this 15, that 15, and unbolt the back. Let's go ahead and loosen up the back before we loosen these up and then we can uh, see if we can slide it out through there. We'll pull that off for now. And, before I pull this bolt out to release the compressor, I am going to see if I can stick a Allen on this stud here. To pull the stud out of the block, because this, this stud here is actually bolted to the block, and the compressor needs to slide off of there. Uh, but I don't think I have enough room the, to slide the compressor all the way this way, because it'll hit the frame well before it even clears that stud. So I think I'm gonna remove that stud all right, one more thing before I pull the stud off is when you're moving this stud with a ratchet, make sure you can still pull your ratchet out before it bottoms out against the back of the frame and then you can't get the wrench out. Just an FYI. Oh gosh, my socket. Uh, yeah, so don't want to end up in that situation. That's okay. We can leave this in here. We'll just pull this out together once we loosen this last one. All right. It's almost there. And it's out. All right, where the hell did it go? Oh, there it is. Hey, you piece of shit. 
get out of here. All right, so this is the one I went with. It's a Murray. I don't know. It's a brand new AKC compressor. Uh, I got this from O'Reilly's. Comes with new O-rings, which I need, and a new compressor. So far, it looks identical. Yeah, we are good. Kind of turn the back. Kind of turn the back. All right. Um, so as you can tell, the AC clutch was gone on this one. Obviously, could have just replaced the uh, the compressor clutch and would have been a lot cheaper. But uh, better off just getting something new. Let's go put this back in the same way we got it out. Look at this shit here. I just slide this new one right through the top. Oh. And it's basically right in place. What the hell? The old one with the pain in the butt. That one just slid in like nothing. All right, got the bottom bolts tightened up. Got to tighten up the top bolt now, and I've already had to replace the O-rings on the back. We got to reconnect our AC clutch with the connector, throw on the new belt, and take this thing to get evacuated, or at least uh, put a vacuum on it, make sure there's no leaks. And yeah, but uh, charge it up and get some cold AC coming out of the vents. charged up and get some cold AC coming out of those vents because it's a hot day today and I need some AC. Alright guys, got the AC up and running now. Got it charged up with 1.6 pounds of Freon. And look at that, that thing is blowing 39 degrees, 38 degrees. Man, it feels great in here. Got the windows up. I don't have to worry about sweating my ass off no more. So if you guys are replacing your AC compressor on your C5 Corvette, Definitely recommend removing the passenger header. It's a lot easier than just removing the rack and lowering the subframe and all that nonsense. Just take off the passenger header. It takes less than 30 minutes. And the compressor comes out like you saw. It takes no time. But yeah guys, if you found the video helpful, please like, please subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one.